hi everybody and welcome to another video as always i'm your girl jessie q welcoming you to my channel i just want to say before we start thank you to everyone who has subscribed thus far um to all the people that watch the video read the blog post shared it with their friends invited others to come and watch the video i'm very 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 appreciative of you guys and i want to say a big thank you from the bottom of my heart Today's video is going to be a lot different from the one before. As I would have mentioned before, the blog is going to be three main topics, which is fashion, lifestyle, and DIY. Today's video is going to be a fashion video, and the topic of today's video is wardrobe essentials. I'm going to be sharing with you all my essential looks for basic everyday living things that I cannot live without and put some looks together for you guys based on what I like and what my essentials are. So stay tuned, be a part of this. Always, always, I would say, remember to subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below and become a part of the Jessie Q family. If you haven't yet, feel free to check out our Jessie Q blog. That is jessieq.co, J-E-S-S-I-E-Q.co. That's it. Feel free to check it out, see what's going on there. I would be posting a lot more blog posts than videos, but I still will try to do some things simultaneously and hand in hand. If you have opinions, if you would like to see us do something, feel free to comment down below. Let us know what you think. You can message us on the Jessie Q page. And also I will be starting a Facebook page so everything that would be happening on the Jessie Q page and on the Jessie Q YouTube channel would be able to be easily accessible or you will get updates when things new things are posted via the Facebook page so stay tuned we're ready to start this okay hi guys and welcome to my bedroom we are going to do some of my very very favorite essential looks now guys these are the looks that i just can't live without people who know me people who see me regularly will say and notice that i am always rocking some version of these looks because i feel most comfortable in it and i think it expresses my personality well you know i get to look good but still be comfortable because sometimes i don't know where the day is going to take me so I'm going to show you all these looks. Now there are a few key pieces of clothing that I just cannot live without. The first one, or ones, are vests. I cannot live without vests. I wear vests a lot because this is Trinidad, the climate is hot, the sun is hot, everything is humid, it is sweaty and I just don't like being covered up with a lot of clothes all the time. So if it is a particularly hot day, then I will just rock a vest with some sort of bottom. If it isn't, then I might want to layer up or venture into wearing something a little more warm. My second wardrobe essential is a jacket. Now as you can see, I'm wearing a sort of jacket slash cardigan right now. Um, and when I say jacket, I'm talking about pieces like this. I have a lot of random pieces and some of them are not what you would think. For instance, this was a gift from my wonderful friend Janae. Thank you, Jim. And it came with long sleeves. And I believe it was supposed to be some type of dress, but I couldn't fit my arms into these sleeves. But I loved the top itself or the dress itself, whatever it was meant to be. I love polka dots. I love polka dots a lot. I think I look very pretty in them. They are very me. They're very Jessica. So I wanted to use it still. I simply just cut off the sleeves and I surged the ends. I did not even hem it. So I'll just come in for you all to see that the ends are surged, if you all can see. 
So I just searched the ends and voila, my third wardrobe essential is some sort of body con item. So whether it is a dress or whether it is a skirt, um, they're not short, they're usually like by my knee and that is something that I just can't live without. I have a lot of them, I wear them often and I love them. My fourth essential is Converse. I love Converse very much. I think they're very comfortable, they're very cute and chic and stylish and you don't have to do much with a Converse. I just put it on and it looks nice. I have two low cut ones, one in a burgundy color and one in a blue color. And then I have one high top one. I don't really wear it, but I still keep it around because it's pretty cute. My fifth wardrobe essential will have to be glasses or shades. I actually wear glasses, my eyes are tested. Um, I have many glasses however. I buy my glasses online at various online stores and I will be sure to put a link in the blog post of the glasses stores online that I shop from. So y'all be sure to check out the blog post on this topic so that you can get the links to those glasses places because I'm telling you, buying glasses online is much cheaper than buying glasses in Trinidad. It is so much ridiculously cheaper. Glasses in Trinidad are way overpriced. So I purchase my glasses online and I think you should too. There are lots of styles to choose from and some really cute and chic glasses that you sure would want to get. Yes, and in lieu of glasses, I recently also started wearing contacts. So when I don't have on my glasses, I have on contacts and with contacts I get a chance to rock some shades. I was not always a big shades person, but now I am getting into it. So I have some essential shades that I keep that I use on the regular. I would just like to do an honorary mention of two items. The first is my bracelet. See here? I always rock this bracelet. I got this bracelet in the mall. I can't remember the name of the store in Trinity Mall. It was in the display case by the cashier. It is not real gold or real silver. It's a two-tone bracelet, if you can see. That is what it looks like. But it's not real gold or silver, and I have had it for two going on three years and my next honorable mention would be to my gathered skirts. I have a whole lot of gathered skirts and they serve me well and I love them. So I'm going to do some looks for you guys on the essentials that I just mentioned so stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so this is the first look that I would like to do for you all. This is a pretty badass awesome put together of some essential Jessie Q looks of course we have the vest this is an army green colored vest it's very cheap I got it on Charlotte Street on the street itself I believe I think there was a guy selling it and I got like five for a hundred or something so very cheap this jacket this leather jacket that is really cool and it has pockets and it's really long it's a little above my knee and I just wear it open like this so if I'm feeling a little stylish I might just wear the top button closed and everything else open you never know this jacket I got on a store on Charlotte Street I cannot remember the name of the store but I got this jacket for $40 on Charlotte Street what $40 so I'll just give you a look this is what it looks like and of course I'm going to show you all the entire outfit separately so yes this wonderful jacket and I don't always go as structured or as fancy as this 
um, a lot of the times it's you know bigger much worse fitting jackets quote unquote um, but I really like that oversized jacket look oversized shirt or whatever right I really like that look wanted to show you all a cleaned up version of what it could look like also I have here a bodycon um, skirt this skirt I love very much it's really comfortable it's a kind of wool material I also have it paired here with an elephant necklace isn't it cute and I love it very much because I really 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 love elephants and it's an elephant and I love elephants and last but not least oh sorry not last and next I have it paired with Converse my burgundy colored Converse really simple really cute and my black and white round frame glasses that is this look this is what it looks like all put together Okay guys, so we're back and I wanted to do an additional look for you guys. So this is the second look based off of the essentials um, list that I would have mentioned earlier. Um, this is just a little twist on it because as I explained, I really do love gathered skirts and I wanted to do a look based on that, you know, just as a second option. This is the second option. What I have is a black vest and a purple, blue, and white and cream gathered skirt. This skirt was made for a Wanderer Tour um, performance. That is Desi's tour, the Wanderer Tour. So I made this skirt for that performance and it has been a part of my usual circulation since then. Also what I have here is a blazer that first started off as a church blazer, then went a work blazer, and now it's just a blazer. I just wear it wherever I feel like wearing it. I pair it with this or with some of the looks from my first look, but basically this is how it's worn. What I have on my feet are sandals, plain brown sandals, and of course I'll be sure to show the entire look all together. I also paired it with this green chain, this green necklace as you can see, it is quite nice, I've had it for a while, and these sunglasses that also have a hint of purple in them. And this is what the entire look looks like. Okay guys, so that was my five and then some wardrobe essentials. Those are my personal favorites, my personal can't live without. It doesn't have to be everyone's, but those were mine. I would sure like to know what, uh, what are your favorites, what are your can't live without, and share it with me. Let's compare and see. Maybe there's some can't live without that I needed to know and you all can show me. So feel free, of course, to check out the jessiq.co blog page where I would be posting um, this video, the rundown of this video, but also I would be doing some of the looks from some other blog posts that um, were compiled from before that highlight some of the must-haves and their essentials. Be sure to check out jessiq.co for the blog post on that. Thank you so much guys for spending this time with me. Thank you so much for taking your time out to watch this video. Feel free to click like if you liked it. Leave a comment telling me what you think or what you think I should do next. And as always, please hit that subscribe button down below so that you can stay abreast of everything that is happening. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. All of my social media handles are on the jessiq.co website. Also feel free to check out my other website for my design business that is Stitched and that is stitchedshoptt.com. And of course, there is a link to that website from my jessiq.co website page. 
Thank you so much again. Please subscribe and I'll see you another time. Namaste. Thank you.